Hello, my name is Steve Weibel, the project leader and resident biologist, and this is Project Fiji. We initiated the project in late 2014 off the southern coast of Vitilavu Island in Fiji. The site was first named the Colosseum, but that didn't sit well with the Fijians and their culture, so I eventually came up with a new name, Cathedral, which was culturally much more acceptable. The project parameters were to establish a feeding station for tiger sharks and to develop the station to attract as many individuals as possible. We could then use identification criteria to get a better idea of gender ratios and transient patterns. This in turn would allow us to document a database of the individuals separating first time visitors from repeat feeders and adults from juveniles. It also gave us an opportunity to study the behavioral changes from their initial appearances through to the more common characteristics of the veteran visitors. Since these apex predators have always displayed a sense of schedule for mating and feeding and other behaviors, once we established a feeding schedule of two times per week, the tiger sharks started to predictably show up at the proper times, sometimes two or three individuals on a single dive. The cathedral site was staged to have a two-cycle feeding. The first dive was conducted at a depth of 30 meters for approximately 20 minutes for guests while the feeders would remain down longer to continue feeding and setting up the second dive. Dive 2 was conducted at a depth of 18 meters and on this dive guests would commonly stay down for 25 to 30 minutes depending on allowances while the feeders would remain down a bit longer since they were diving Nitrox 32 and work with any of the remaining individuals. Besides tiger sharks, we commonly attracted gray reef, white tip reef, nurse, lemon, and bull sharks. We tried to concentrate, however, our feedings to just the tigers, bulls, and lemons. Since we attracted so many different individuals, we tried to employ a multiple feeder situation to lessen any chances of competitive behavior from the sharks. One of our goals was to employ methods to produce a calm, safe environment where each individual would systematically gain a trust for the site and for the feeders. The techniques we used uh, were to make sure that each feeder would make contact with the sharks in a non-threatening manner each time they would feed. Another method was to keep the feeders on the bottom and to make sure that they kept a low profile to be as non-threatening as possible to the individual sharks. These tendencies produced a very successful situation as you can see how calm each of the sharks are and how easily they receive the food. Thank you very much for joining us with this video and we will have other videos to follow soon. I'm Steve Weibel and this has been the first video from Project Fiji.